Well, they say there's plenty more important in life than football, and they're probably right, but come to this game and you do wonder. Once described by the most respected of journalists as the number one of things you must see before you die, the greatest footballing rivalry, and a game that can make the most intense of European derbies look like a school kickabout. It is a fixture with a history which has lasted well over a century now. Two clubs originating from the same neighbourhood of Buenos Aires who have since gone their separate ways. One lot known as the Genoese in homage to their Italian roots and the others known as the Milonarios. It is a clash of culture, of class and of so much more. And let us hope that this one, like the near 250 previous editions, lives up to the astronomical expectations of it. It is no ordinary Classico. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Well, it's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances, but you feel the rivalry. Well, I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it. And I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high-intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this. And if it is full-on, then I'll be happy to watch that. So it's away we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? I feel I must single out Carlos Tevez. Uh, he may be on the small side, but he's feisty and robust and works as hard as anyone else out there. And I think he exudes quality. The package is compact, but the delivery is considerably bigger. OK, interesting. Salvi. Hoists it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Here's Tevez. And Tevez! Had everyone off their seats. Oh, and it's such a good effort. Maybe the target really should have been hit. Enzo Perez. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. That's a pop! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Lopez. Boca Juniors have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Tries to switch the play. Just brushed off the ball there. Salvio. Balls loose. Who's getting there? Ball's gone out of play. Perez goes up and over. Back to the keeper and go again.
it out. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. And he's searching through. Throw it. He's made sure that that won't get through. Goes long. Oh, good interception. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. little by way of goal mouth action yet and it's played forward out to the left it goes Tevez Now it's Salvia. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. It's got in, he's put through his own net! Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus. Boca Juniors, and that'll be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. River Plate would seem to still be getting over the OG. It was an honest mistake, and they've got to move on. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. And now the breakaway, chipped through, decent looking ball. out on the left now up he gets oh that was no routine save oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp Tries a shot! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do.
And he's there to clear it. Perez gets it back. Forward it goes. Crosses into the area. And that has been cleared. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, there'll be no accusations of uh, a lack of effort. They're giving as good as they get when it comes to chances. Leaves it in. Up to meet it! That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Offside. Is the light very short-lived? The referee's assistant did have his flag up. It might have been close, but it was correct. Disappointment and relief on either side. <laughs> Nothing doing. Keeper sends it forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Lopez. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Fence has got rid of that. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. And it's Salvio. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. It's being played forward. And here's the chance to counter. And he's cut it out. And he heaves it forward. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Tevez, yeah, he's fouled him there. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Boca Juniors are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Oh, looks like he's been going for goal. Slipping away, they have hauled themselves off the canvas. Oh, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. So all square with almost no time remaining. It'll be a throw in. Boca Juniors making another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Tries to stroke it through, tries to squeeze it through. No, not quite. Promising ball. Perez knocks it away. Plays it long. 
And that's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet... There's... And that's that. A very good game of football, no winner. But both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment, and it ends all square. Well, how will we look back on that? Wow, like so many of these games, that...